What up, it's War Chief, and today we're going to talk about the differences between the MK2 and MK3 machine micro. So, uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, hit that bell. Ding! Okay, you can obviously tell that the MK3 is down here, and this is the MK2. We're just going to talk about the hardware. We're not going to talk about software or what you can do. We'll just talk about the button placements and all that. So, right off the bat, you can tell that there is no screen on the MK3. They took it out because on the micros, they're, they figured that you're already going to be on your computer. And if you don't want to use your computer, you are going to buy the flagship model, the MK3. So, they took that out completely. They put the three, but these three buttons right here are great. This right here is your projects. This is your favorite groups. And then this is your groups. Okay. And then they still have the jog wheel. It's just, it clicks once. You, you can't turn it like um, some other jog wheels out there. Like it doesn't click left or right or down. What they have instead are these buttons that go left and right. So if you have something like it's on my voice settings, but if I go over and go to pitch bend, you go to the mode I want. They also added this volume button. They have their swing right here and their tempo. And the plugins and sampling is up here. You can see that sampling is down here on the MK2. They just switched the position from down here to up there. That's because in this area where they had the MK2, on the MK3, they put the touch strip. And the touch strip is amazing. You can do the pitch, the mod. It's like a mod wheel. Um, the perform, you can do like scratch DJ stuff like that. And then notes. You can like hold a couple notes. And then you can strum it like a guitar or like kind of like anything. <laughs> so that's what they did with that. They replaced this section. You put the mod wheel and these four these four buttons. And then on the bottom, or right here, where the group, browse, and sampling, and note repeat, where they was, they put them down further, and now it's group, auto, lock, and then your note repeat. And that's also your ARP. And they tell you that. They do not tell you that on the MK2 because there's been a lot of updates since the MK2 was out. So, and then below that, um, the very bottom buttons are all pretty much the same but you do not have these step buttons like right here I guess they replaced them right here so they were down here they just moved them up there and then you have play record stop and shift all right that's that half of the <laughs> machine let's talk about the middle right here so you can see right away you have an extra button at the very top that's the fixed Velocity when you press that your velocity is fixed and you can change that you can hold it and go to 127 or go to a hundred and everything you hit will be fixed The second button is the same you got your scene your section pattern. That's the same events That's different events is say you click events and you have a jump pattern You can actually click on the jump pattern and then delete it or you can duplicate it to another event in your group then you have variations or navigate w what they switched that was with view and then duplicate that's the same selects the same solo is the same and mute and choke is the same so the, the only buttons they really added was variation and uh the fixed velocities and then so the final thing is i really liked that they did this i like that they put the like what the pads do when you hold shift undo redo step undo step redo on the pads but i feel like they could wear off i feel like that in a way that they or over time they are going to wear off but that's just me like i feel like they could have wrote it right in between there in real real small print but that's just me <laughs> Because on the MK2, they actually have it written on there, but the pads are smaller. That's the next thing we're going to talk about, the pads. The pads on the MK3 Micro are the exact same size as the MK3, the big boy. And then the pads on the MK2 right here, you can tell they're super small. Like, well, smaller. 
Um, and they do feel these pads do feel better. They have more bouncy, and I, these pads are have been good for years for me, and I really do enjoy them K2. But this is like everything I need in a controller for machine. <laughs> it's just great. So the last thing is the top buttons. You can tell there's no top buttons on the MK2. MK3 has these four top buttons, pad mode, keyboard, chords, and then step sequencer. On the MK2, I never used step sequencer. I just started using it on the MK3 because there was a dedicated button. And I used chords on the MK2, but it was such a hassle to get there. You honestly had to press pad mode, go over, oh, there's chord mode. Then you got to click what you want. You want your chord set. Um, you want to turn it off. You want it to harmonize. And then when you wanted to go to keyboard, you had to hold pad mode. And then go over and then pick your scale. Oh, what scale do I want? Major, minor, over. Then you had to pick your root note. It was just a big hassle. You always had to hold that button. But what they have done is put those four buttons at the top that everybody wanted, and you just press keyboard. Okay, what do I want my root note to be? You go to it, click over. My bank, uh, this is scales. Uh, let's do minor, and then type. And it is just so convenient. Chords. Let's go with E. Then you can use your chord set. And then major, minor. It is so easy. But that is what they changed from the MK2 to the MK3. And I think they made like the best decisions possible to do that. And this, this thing's a beast. For me because i'm more on my computer i thought i would be more hands-on but i'm not <laughs> i really dig the mk3 and it's only 250 dollars and it is amazing thanks for watching video if you like the video leave a like comment telling me what you thought about this do you like the changes do you not like the changes what do you miss from the mk2 or if you miss anything from the mk2 just let me know down in the comments make sure to subscribe like the video and i will catch you guys on the next episode i guess this is episodic like 2019 can't wait to make more and more videos for you love making videos especially on machine and i just can't wait to show you guys amazing things with this device